Unexpected Events is the name of the film. It's a documentary made by two local filmmakers. And now we can say, and the winner of the best soundtrack <laughs> right. in right. Las Vegas at the Black Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Give me an idea. Talk to me a little bit about the title, Unexpected Events. Yes. Uh, well, Unexpected Event is because nobody expects, for me, I mean, I lost my mother now, I lost my father. They lived a fruitful age of their 90s. Mm -hmm. But my son was only going each one. It's like when your child go out the door or your loved one go out the door, in the next few minutes or so, you get a call mm -hmm. that their life has ended like that. Uh, that's where I call it unexpected events. Uh, and throughout my book, I. I give some things what God gave to me, like the, the twilight zone, mm -hmm. like because there I stood in a trauma room three different times uh, looking over my son's bodies where um, their life was going like that. And it was just like, I call it the twilight zone because there I stood and I felt like I was grasping reality and disbelief at the same wow, time. Absolutely. And uh, for any mother, my heart go out to them because Nobody expects, see, society at large, at, well, I'm 59, when I grew up, I always was told and always thought, you know, the, the parents, <laughs> the parents, the kids will outlive the parents. Absolutely, But sure. this day, and for my story, and also mm -hmm. my associate and friend, um, Valerie Dixon and others, it, it's a whole different it's script a different to story. that. And we're not ever prepared for that. No. And that's we're why I call it the unexpected event. Okay. Because it, it's a real unexpected thing to get that phone call. Absolutely. Now, I want to take a look at another clip we have. Mm -hmm. and then I want to talk to you about what it's going to take to get this film shown in Pittsburgh. So Absolutely. let's take a look at that clip first and then we'll come back and talk about okay. that. Thank you. It's late. Where are you going? It's late. Sometimes you gotta keep your enemies close, but I'll be back, all right? Look, Aunt, Mom, Mom. You better call me. God, please, please, please. Oh, Lord. God bless it. Try so hard. My son. Do have your son out. Just that shot where the doctor and Valerie walk into the room, mm -hmm. your heart drops when you see it. It did, and um, when we reenacted that part, it was all family members, and it was literally like it was the day it happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, the tears really came out, the pain, it was, it was lifelike mm -hmm. and because um, everybody was connected to it they remember the process of it but the emotions of it came back that right. never goes away me, I, I wasn't expecting it mm -hmm. and it hit me really you weren't hard. expecting the emotion I, 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 I mean because I you know lived it for all these years but sure. when I sit there I'm telling you and I had choose Valerie because she I met her when it was my first son and I knew she knew, she knew. the right. impact see it got to be somebody Mm -hmm. on the same accord mm -hmm. and she was so close to everybody in that room was close and, and I just I'm just happy because um, as I stood there I just need to hurry up and say I felt it like it just happened okay. all over I almost froze right uh -huh. there but for me and I don't mean to disrespect anybody but this is just for me God gave me the strength and a thought right then but you're doing something about it okay. you know mm -hmm. and I'm glad that God allowed me to channel my grief into creativity right. so you could move yes in that direction and, every, and everybody and right. that's what this book I just want to say this book uh, it's not really about me mm -hmm. right. And even though it's my life, but I'm hoping through this book that I can inspire a mother, a father, a, a person that lost their loved one, that we can go forward. And, and, go I'm, forward. and I do motivational talks at Arbley. I have went out there voluntarily uh -huh. to different, and I'm open to come to any boys' placement center because that's my target, mostly the mothers and the and sons. And their sons. 
Let me ask you, Valerie. Now, you took it to Las Vegas, so mm -hmm. they got to see it. Yeah. What do we have to do to we see it? We want to bring it to Pittsburgh. We are looking for some sponsorships so we can bring it to local theaters like the Kelly Strayhorn and invite young groups and, you know, um, youth groups and uh, young men that's out in the community and have a free event so that they can come and have some sponsors that be able to provide resource information and referral information for these young people to know that there are bridges that we can help put in front of you so that you don't have to go down that road, you know, like deter to deter you mm -hmm. from that thought process of, you know, I, if I see in this movie inspire me not to be hanging with who am I hanging with mm -hmm. or not to, you know, go out and do this thing that I know mm -hmm. they get ready to go out and do because this is what's going to happen to my family if that ultimately happens in the end. When mm -hmm. someone sees that impact and it's real and it's live, it's not a movie. These are real live people that are really actually going through it. Mm -hmm. Sometime it could create a change in people, but we want to have support systems set up too while we're filming, at the filming of the movie, yeah. so that it's just not so that show a film and connect. go home. Yeah, yeah have some Definitely. resources for people to Definitely. take home with them. So we got about a minute left. This is the opportunity for Pittsburgh's foundation community to come forward, Absolutely. corporate Pittsburgh Absolutely. to come forward Absolutely. and make this happen. Yes. Definitely, no doubt. And Luana and I are working on a dual documentary as well of our combined stories because we've been together for 17 years and mm -hmm. so much has evolved. And now we're going to create a documentary of that. But we want to do that with the experience of knowing how to do it okay. and becoming film producers and things like that and get other people's story out there and keep it local and keep rotating around the community because when it's local, it's more of an impact. Absolutely, People feel more yeah. connected to it. Absolutely. You know, okay, so. we're going to take a commercial break. We're going to come back and we'll wrap all this up in just a minute when the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show continues. Don't go away. <laughs>